condition can change my love for you. No culture can change the way I love you, my baby. If you keep pacing that way, you are going to find yourself somewhere in the hospital. Get a grip. Our former is no longer a child. You know, sometimes it takes a woman who's truly in love an entire day to tell her boyfriend that it's over. <laughs> huh? And you really think this world is funny because I, that, I... that what I actually find funny, Dad. Um, is you thinking that true love has an antidote? True love? Oh yes, true love. Did you see the look in that farmer's eyes when she admitted to being deeply in love with that young man? Oh well, if you did not, I did. And at that point, it dawned on me that no matter what that man says or does to her, her feelings for him would remain genuine. But you, you have no respect for how she feels. You simply think that you can just wish it away because there's an antidote. That you baffle me sometimes. Now listen to me, son. My daughter is going to come back to this house and when she does, she'll be with the news that she's no longer in love with that young man. That is what I would hear. I'm well, sorry to disappoint you, father. I... I'm still very much in love with him. Your antidote didn't work. No tradition can change my love for you. Oof. I am really, really very sorry, Father. This time I was actually wrong. I actually thought that she was going to pass the night at this place. No culture can change the way I love. She's still in love with him. She's still in love. No tradition can change my love for you. Why does it appear as if everything has escalated? Why is it that nothing seems to work? If they stop working, then I have to manage the money I had made over the years. But, should I give up? It's not possible. It's not ever possible. There is always that one last one. Hmm. I will always win. Yes. Well, Luciana, I don't have any problem with your your house keeps that you have written here that you're demanding the money for. I am just concerned with the groceries and food stuff that you have written here. Are you sure that this list will be enough for us in the next two weeks? Father, as you can see, everything I wrote there is what we'll be needing in the house for a week. <laughs> I am talking of two weeks, and you're saying it for a week. Women, you people know how to... <laughs> First money out of men. Father, don't start. Even from their fathers. <laughs> Father, don't start. Well, but I am thinking um, you will have to increase the quantity of uh, meat, both the beef and the, um, and the chicken. Huh. I am thinking you will have to buy an extra kg of beef and then uh, add uh, four chicken. Hmm. Extra. Father, it's very expensive nowadays, so, but if you're going to add money... Well, as you know, I am not actually a, a lover of meat. 
But as you know, you know the kind of visitors we used to have in this house. You never can tell when somebody will come and demand for small offense. And I just want us to have enough meat in the house in case. So That's then, it. So then you give me more money? No problem. Just calculate and uh, let me know what the total is. I will send the money into your account. You can withdraw and do what you want to do. Father! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Father, there is something I've been meaning to ask you. Something like what? It's about the princess. What about the princess? Father, is it really true she's seen a man from Umurola? What did I just hear you say? I'm asking if the princess is indeed seeing a man from Umurola. Hey, how can you possibly ask a thing like that? How? Well, father, it is, it is said she is, and I have to ask you. Uchen. Hmm. Father, this one you don't even want to answer the question. It means it's true. It is very true, father. This is how you behave when things are true and you don't want to talk about them. Will you, will you just... Shut up and write the total that I told you. Hmm. The princess. Okay, oh. Anamaju, anamaju, ogiri kamere o putanyo. Oh, you're welcome. Please sit. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, this is your house. Oh, yes. My God's grace. My house. Uh, I must say that you have um, done well for yourself. Thank you so much. Sorry, if I may ask, what is the Prince of Umebe doing in Umurola village, especially in my house? Would you pretend not to know why I'm here? Anyway, um, let me go straight to the point. I am in love with your sister. How exactly did you meet my sister? Well, your sister and I have known each other for a very long time. We became friends and fell in love with each other. Mm. And we've been friends ever since then. I see. Fast in a banyo, I love it, Sikiki. Moo ila punikyo, oh yeah. Yes. No, 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 no. They may not call you about it because they feel you will not be able to do anything. Yes. They are calling me because I am the head of the executive. Listen, we need to meet and decide on what to do. She may be the princess, but she's equally an unmarried maiden of our land. Yes. I've already briefed the others. Let's meet at the junction. I'm on my way already. Okay. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello. So what do I owe this August visit? Sit down, princess. Excuse me? Sit. What am I hearing? What is it? I just heard that uh, my daughter and some maidens of Umwebe Kingdom left the palace in anger. That was why I was calling you on the phone. As we speak, they are with my daughter right now. Your mother is the only one thing comes to mind. How do you mean? They have heard. Heard what? Your Majesty, they have heard of the romance between your daughter and the man of Omorola. 
the illicit relationship. Even my daughter asked me that same question this morning and I was not able to answer. It is so obvious that the rumor has started to spread. Now the question begging for an answer, your majesty, is what are we going to do? And what do you think is responsible for the spread of this rumor? What do you think? How am I supposed to know? They say our princess is a prostitute, a whore, and a cheap seller with no value for herself. They say she's ready, available, for any man that comes knocking on the door of a womanhood, even if he's an outcast. What is so special about the maidens of Umwebe, they ask? What do they have that is so valuable? Even their princess can stoop as low as giving it to Anusu in a public place. You have broken the crown of the maidens. Afoma, do you realize that the only difference between you and us is the crown on your father's head? Aside that, you're just an ordinary maiden. Do you know that? I do. Then I believe I'm, I'm within my rights when I put it to you that there's a rumor going round that our princess is dating a man from a cost village, Umurola. Afoma, is that true? Are you seeing a man of Umurola? Are you sleeping with a man of Umurola? Afoma, are you having a clandestine relationship with a man of Umurola? The maidens of Umwebe deserves an answer. Is that true? Answer me! Yes. What? what? I'm not a prostitute. <laughs> Neither am I a cheap whore without values. I'm certainly not cheap. I'm just a woman who fell in love with a decent man. A decent man from Umurola. A man who succeeded in stealing her heart the honorable way. <laughs> it doesn't matter if he's from Umurola. It doesn't matter if he's an outcast. He loves me as much as I love him. And that is all that matters. Your Majesty, I am insisting that we have to go there and put an end to this. As men that sit in positions of authority. These maidens are angry. Take my daughter for example. I know how she behaves. Whenever her temper is running this high. And I am feeling we have to So go there. what exactly do you want us to go and do there? Beat them up? Arrest them? Or ask them to leave the palace? Can you be realistic for once? You and I may be titled men in this kingdom, but we both know that our powers are limited when it comes to the maidens of Umwebe. I know. Besides, they, they, they could be very angry right now. I said it already. I know that they always have at the back of their mind that my daughter is one of them. Therefore, they will not do her any serious harm. Your Majesty, that is what we are thinking. But based on what we are seeing, the maidens are very angry. They can do, we really need to do. You know what? I think I have an idea what we have to do to put an end to this. Okay. I am going to get one of your guards to go and uh, smuggle out one of those maidens for me. I know exactly what I would tell that maiden and all this nonsense will be brought under control. Okay? Be 
in a heart of all shelter. How did it go? Unfortunately, on your there. They have left already. Already? What did they do to you? Tell us. What did they say to you? They did nothing to me. But what did they say? They said something to you, Afoma. We saw them out there sitting with you, talking so tough. So, so what did they say? What did they tell you? What did they say to you? Can't you talk? Okay, I'll tell you. You have disgraced not just the royal family, but the maidens of Umuebe as a whole. You have made us a laughing stock before the world. Therefore, on behalf of the maidens of Umuebe as a whole, we excommunicate you. You are no longer part of us, and we no longer know you. Afoma, you're no longer recognized as a maiden of Umuebe, and you're no longer recognized as a princess. Your joy will no longer be a joy, and when you are in sorrow, it will no longer be our duty to comfort you. Since you have decided to align with an outcast, you remain one. You lay with dogs and you get up with fleas. Goodbye, princess. I sincerely hope we do not have a cause to be in the same place with you ever again. I believe Think. we are done here. Rubbish. You stink. No tradition can change my love for you. That's it. Hey! Your Majesty, this is not good at all. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I know they are going to come after me. They will try to dethrone me. You see what you've brought upon yourself and your family? No, you see what you've caused? I'm sorry, Father. I'm sorry. You are sorry. Well, I am just going to tell them, make them understand that I'm just a father. And that just like every other father, no matter how hard I have tried to bring up my children, I still don't have the influence over their hearts and whoever they choose to love. You see this madness of yours? It has nothing to do with me. Absolutely nothing. None of it is my fault. And I am and I will remain the king of this land. Nobody, I repeat, nobody can take my birthright away from me. Then I had a voice shouting, rebels be cleansing in the land. You were. Kiri kiri kana mupo sana ya di elu, mirame finanya, alu mire na banyu. Kiri kiri kana mupo sana ya di elu, mirame finanya, alu mire na banyu. Even rock and the fool, or teach you, we were a no put on you. And I'm a Jew, and I'm a Jew. Okay, settle down, settle down. I'm here with you now. Nobody will kill you. Okay, just calm down. Thank you. Who are you? What's your name? My name is Beauty. My father didn't give me a native name. Oh, no, no that's fine. I, uh, Beauty is a good name, too. Thank you. Thank you. Who's trying to kill you and, and what for? I don't know that. They just want to take everything my late father left for me. My uncles, my father's brothers. They want to just take away everything. <laughs> uh, 
You know what, I think that we should go to the police and make a report. No, no, no. They have connections everywhere. They have connections everywhere. Just please, just, just save me. Just save me. Save me from them. They just want to kill me. Just, just, just save me, please. Please, I beg you. I don't trust the police. I do not. They, 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 they will not save me, please. Just save me. Please. 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 One thing about me is that I like to give people the benefit of doubt. I found you in the states that I found you, but I chose to bring you here to hear your side of the story and also calm you down. Hmm? If you look around you, you will see that this is a palace and that you're very safe here. Thank you very much. You are very kind. You're welcome. Son? My father is here. Where have you been? A lot has happened in the palace today and you are... Who is she? She's my friend, Dad. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Father, um, let's talk. I'm right behind you. After you, Dad. I'll be back. Anamaju, Anamaju, Ogiri Kamere, Obudanyo. Then I had a voice. First of all, where have you been? A lot has happened in this palace today, and you were nowhere to be found. How's that, Umbrella? Excuse me? I went in search of our former's man. You went to Umurala? Are you crazy or something? It is bad enough that my daughter has practically become a part of that caste community, and now my son? Did you people sign a kind of pact to kill me? Dad, listen. That young man. Is that exactly what you think of him? In fact, um, things are not um, particularly uh, what they seem to you, Dad. I, I don't understand. I'll make you understand. First you rubbed it in my face. That you went to Umurala. And now you are talking in parables? What in God's name are my children turning into? Dad, um, please. You need to sit. Excuse me? I've asked you to sit, Father, please. Oblige me. Sit. Who are you? Stupid? Listen, I don't care if he's as wealthy as Dangote. I don't care if he rates number one richest man on Forbes. And I certainly do not care if he is the president of America. Because the fact remains that he is a man of Omorala. And nothing will ever make me accept him as my son-in-law. You have not even met this man in question. Are you deaf or you just don't have brains? Do you want me to slap some sense into you? Do you? What part of the cost Umurala man do you not understand? Father, is this about the unknown faceless man that you have been in search of? Oh yes. What is about the faceless young man? And whoever it turns out to be, when I find him, I mean, when I finally find him, he is going to be the one I will choose my daughter for. Uh, 
even over the president of America. That is, if that president of America is from Omorala. Dad, you know what they say. The devil that you know. Hmm? The devil you know, Dad. Listen, son. I don't care if it turns out to be a cripple, an imbecile, a blind man, a deaf and dumb. I don't care. I will choose him over any man from Umurala, any time, any day. Our former will not accept to marry him. Though. Then she should get ready to remain single. Because it will be over my dead body that I become the father-in-law to a man from Umurala. Well, that is by the way. Who is the young girl that you brought to the palace? Oh, that um, young lady who is in trouble ran to me for help that I have decided to help. And you couldn't find out tell? Dad, did you even listen to me? I just told you that a young lady is in trouble. So I took her in to help her. Do you actually believe that a hotel is safer than this palace? Tell me something, son. Are you telling me you are this young lady out of your, your goodness? Or it has something to do with the extra vegan beauty that I saw in her? That's a very mischievous question, Father. That is not enough. Oh, she isn't from Umurala. Dad. Dad. Please. That isn't enough, too. Honestly, Father, you're beginning to... Please. Please. You know what, son? I've had enough of your children for today. Then I heard a voice shouting, There must be cleansing in the land. Afoma, what are you saying? Are you... Listen, you can't say that. How can you say that you're not going to come back home tonight? Oh, of course, that is going to have a fit. What? Uh, Afoma, listen to me. Afoma... What is wrong with this girl? Hi. Hey, you. Is this the wrong time? Oh no, it's okay. I mean, I heard your voice and I just came to find out if everything is okay. Everything is fine. By the way, you... <laughs> You look okay yes. that, that night. <laughs> Thank you. It's pretty nice. Mm. I hope your sister wouldn't mind that wearing her. Nah. That's the list of our troubles right now. Okay. Would you mind I I sit because I, I couldn't sleep. It's okay. My friends, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for saving my life earlier today. That's okay. It's fine. It's nothing actually. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> saving themselves in distress. <laughs> huh? You're very kind. You're a kind man. And I thank God for bringing you my way. Yeah. You flatter me. Beauty. I do? Oh yes, you do. Who was that for? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Just that you are... Uh, you are so impossible for any lady to resist. Again, you're flatter. Uh, 
Thank you. What was I thinking? Falling in love with her and letting her love me just as much. I should have made use of my senses. I should have considered her background and how much being with me could hurt her in the long run. Now look, what have I done? Instead of giving her a life full of happiness, like I always intended to, I have succeeded in making her face a home for tears. In a bit to be with the one woman I consider the love of my life, I have ended up with the most selfish man on earth. What do I do? How do I write this wrong? I should let her go? But leaving her at this point will even hurt her more than ever. And I'd rather die than bring more tears to her eyes. Dear God in heaven, I love this woman. But if her love for me is hurting her so much, what am I supposed to do? All I want is to wipe these tears forever and make sure they never come back. Obim, I've been observing you from up there. You know you can always confide in me, right? What is it? You've been thinking so much lately. What is it? It is not all the time that a man is privileged to be loved by a princess. It is my duty to love you back. How to achieve that is what I've been thinking. You haven't spent more than one night in this house and you've started cooking already? Well, my, my king, I didn't know how to thank you and the prince for bringing me to your home. So I decided to do what I know how to do best. I'm actually a good cook. I see. Well, my king, you know it's breakfast and I don't really know what you love to eat. So I. I just brought out this. But if you will excuse me, my king, I need to get other dishes. That's okay. She seems like a good girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see. You've already started sleeping with her, right? What? You heard me. Dad, come on now. She could hear you. What is written all over your face? What are you talking about, Dad? You're embarrassing me. I just hope you are not making a very big mistake. Dad. 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 Ujana, how dare you? I'm asking you. How dare you? The princess to the best of my knowledge was your childhood friend. And I am aware that she is still your friend. Why now will you be the one that will be leading other maidens to go and treat her like a piece of shit? But father... What's the problem? I asked you severally what was happening and you ignored me. I kept asking you for days and you deemed it fit to treat me like a fool. Whereas the princess of our land was busy committing an abomination. And you people felt it was right to cover it up and hide it from the maidens. Well, 
We found out for ourselves and we decided to do what is right. And what have you done? I can't believe this. Listen, Ushen, I did not raise you up to be a heartless individual who will not actually have compassion for other people. Why did you get this? Why did you learn it from? Neither did you raise me to cover up evil. Father, you've always raised me to be just. So, are you accusing me now of covering evil? <sighs> no, no, is that what you're doing? You know what, Father? Just even having this conversation is pissing me off because it is wasting my time. I have other things. Who's in there? No one, my heart of So it is you. You are the one that has decided to destroy my family. How dare you step your feet into my palace? How dare you? Your Majesty, I love your daughter. I've loved her for years. I've waited for this moment to come. So I'll stand before you and tell you how much I love your daughter and, and ask for her hand in marriage. Are you done with the rubbish? Get out! Your Majesty, I apologize. I apologize for letting your daughter love me, knowing full well that the love will hurt us at the end. Now, if you don't get out of this palace this minute, I am going to ask the guards to disgracefully throw you out of this palace. Get out! Then I had a voice yeah, be cleansing in the land. Yes! Yes! Then I had a voice If I ever see you in this palace again, you will know the other side of me. Nonsense! What nonsense? He hates me. He hates me. <laughs> you know, the way he threw me out of his presence, he could be said that he can even kill me. Well, he did not. Huh? Sit. <clears throat> um, Obiago. I want to believe that you know why my father reacted that way. Obiago, you know the depth of the bad blood that exists between the people of your village, Omorola, and all the members of Umwebe. You know. So my father has a legitimate reason to have done what he did. But I love the princess. I know. And that is why I'm here. To explain these things to you. For the one in the center of all of this is my beloved sister. The one that I love with all of my heart. Hmm? Same here with me. I love your sister and I love her with all my heart. I know. And what you should do is to allow that love grow gradually. Let it spread to all the family members. That way they begin to get to see you for who you are. Don't try to force it. Mm -mm. Don't try to force it by making sudden appearances at the palace. It will backfire. I know my father. Huh? I know how you feel about my sister. But if you follow my guidelines, the both of you will be fine. Hmm? Trust me. <laughs> Relax. It will be fine. Oh, my love, for you is very pure. Oh, be more. I might not be perfect, but I love you. Nay, I'll see when I'm no be more. Yeah. Greetings, my king. Greetings. My king, this may not mean anything to a man of your pedigree, but I got you biscuits of low sugar because I was told you love biscuits of low sugar. So I got you. Who told king. you I love biscuits of low sugar? 
My prince, he told me he wants me to know the likes and dislikes of everyone in the, the palace. I see. My king, don't you want to at least take a bite? He also told me about your favorite bottle of wine. So if you want to take this with that, I can actually get it for you, my king. This is actually nice. Thank you. So can I get you a wine? Okay. Thank you, my, Thank you, my king. He is telling her the likes and dislikes of everyone in the palace. What does it mean? Your Majesty, why do you do this? You and I know that I am equally helpless in this matter. You are helpless? Of course. If you are helpless, then I am completely finished. In fact, I am dead and gone because it is my only daughter, the princess, we're talking about here. But this man is supposed to be a man from this kingdom. Why is it so difficult to find? But you are one man that I know that knows the entire history of this kingdom from A to Z. Do you mean to tell me that you cannot help me? My king, both of us know too well that it is very impossible to find somebody who doesn't want to be found. It is true he has been so helpful to this kingdom, doing a lot of good, but he wishes to remain anonymous. So why are you bent on finding him? Is a Dibia, listen. I am bent on finding him because I am very sure that his presence is going to solve all my problems. How are you sure, Your Majesty? How are you sure? Or is it because of the millions of Naira he pumps into your account? Take a look at our kingdom. We now have good roads. We now have ultra-modern schools. What about the 24 hours light that we are enjoying every day? We now have uninterrupted water supply that is going to almost every household now. You don't need to dig or buy a sumo before water gets to your house. What else do you want? All thanks to this faceless young man. Young man? <laughs> Yet you have not set your eyes on him. Is a Dibia, what is funny? Why are you why are you laughing? Are you laughing because you know something that I don't know? Or is it that you know this young man and you wouldn't tell me? Your Majesty, go home. Go home. So you don't make ridicule of yourself. <laughs> It's obvious. Yet, it's a pity. For how can love so sweet and so deep be so doomed? I envy them. In as much as their situation is very unfortunate, I envy them. Because they have the one thing that every adult on this planet prays to have or experience at least once in their lifetime. Oh, how I wish. How I wish I have what they have. But at the same time, I feel sorry for them.
My prince? Biscuit? My prince, I know you are not in a good mood. And I understand perfectly everything that is that is going on. And that's why I'm here to to make you happy. What can I do to get you out of this mood? What can I do? Princess of Umwebe, right or wrong? Who are you? Wonderful. I walk into my own very much unmarried nephew's living room. And a strange woman demands to know who I am. And I ask you, who do I look like to you? Answer me! Your father, a beggar, a thief, or a madman? I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to, to... I ask you again! You are the princess of Umwebe. Right or wrong? Right. Hey! So it's true. So it is true. Obiago has really made up his mind not only to publicly ridicule this family, but to kill me. Uncle, Uncle, it's... Will you shut up your mouth? Who is your uncle? Can't you see that you being with my nephew is going to kill him? Can't you see that you are a danger to his life? Uncle, please, it, it, it's... Will you shut up your mouth? Go home! What? Are you deaf? Don't you understand all I have just said? I said you should get the hell out of my nephew's house and never return. Look, I, I don't understand. Look, look. I said... It's okay. I'll go, I'll go and get my things son. Before I commit another abomination that Umurola will live to regret it. Go home! Go back to your father! Nonsense! Stupid girl! Stupid children! I will sit down here and wait for that stupid, naughty, senseless boy. Come home. I am here. Nonsense! Uncle. Idiot. Do not waste time. Pack your things and get the hell out of this place. What are you still doing up there? What's her name again? Princess. Nah, eh. Umaka Highway. Greetings, Your Majesty. Am I safe? What is going on here? Did I hear you say great things? Your Majesty? It is a wonder that you still have some respect for me. And that you still recognize the fact that I am your king. But you know what? Judging from the fact that you bashed into my palace the other day, not minding the fact that I was in the building, you walked straight to the princess and declared her an outcast. Your Majesty, 
With all due respect, we do recognize the fact you're our king. However, we are not aware you have a daughter. I beg your pardon? You heard her right. My king. Which is the reason we all have gathered here to find out what you intend to do about the upcoming festival. As it stands right now, we are only but a few days away from the festival. And yet, we do not know who you have chosen to oversee the ritual. Eze, have you, have you made up your mind yet? I mean, do, do you have anyone in mind? My king, no one has said a word to us, and we all deserve to know. But I have a daughter and you know it! No, you don't have a daughter, my king. Indeed, you don't have a daughter. You don't. You don't. My king, you know we can actually threaten those girls out of this palace. Just as the way they came in. All you need to do is just a word and it's done. Are you crazy? No, are you out of your mind? Do you not realize that the minions of this kingdom will set in powers that even I, the king, cannot contend with? They are within their rights. Yes, they are. So if you go in there and do anything against them, you are making a big fool of yourself. Don't you know that? Your Majesty. What took you so long? Your Majesty, I am finally here. Where are they? Right where I left them. They are still there. They are there. What's your problem? I am still your father and I should be able to talk to you. You know what? I want you to ask your friends to go outside and wait. I want to hold a private discussion with you. No, Father. Whatever it is you want to discuss with me, I suggest you say it right here. Exactly. And mind you, it better be what we want to hear. I don't get it. You want me to start talking before your friends? Which and what is wrong with you? Father, we will not leave this place. So please, don't waste your own time and energy. You know what? I want all of you to go home. Huh? Are you not listening to me? I said all of you should go home. No, 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 listen, listen. I understand that you made this of whom were word enormous powers. Powers bestowed on you by our ancestors. And it is clear you are aware of that power. And that is why you can come to the palace to intimidate even the king himself. But you need to understand something that before the ancestors bestowed such power on you as maidens of home were that there was an original provision that children must have to obey the elders. And that is the sentiment I am going to appeal to right now. As an elder here, as your father in this kingdom, I am asking all of you, go home. Are you, are, are, are you going to disobey me? But father, why really do you want us to go home? Or are you ready to provide us with the answers we seek? Exactly the point. Kiri kiri kana buko sana ni elu mirame finanya alu Yes Did you say yes? Yeah, I said yes, you heard me. I said all of you should go home. Before the end of business today, I will provide you with the answers you seek. Hmm. Oh no. Are you sure? Are you sure? What kind of sense? What's wrong with you? Listen, this man that is standing here is not just a titled man. Abro Shiften Sikweba. This man is the know who of this kingdom. Second in command only to the king. And I've given you my word that you should go home and wait for me to provide you with the answers you seek. But father... Uche, I think we should leave. Fine. 
doing here? What have I done again? Are you just coming back? Does that mean you didn't sleep in this palace? And nobody told me about it? Um, Your Majesty, I, she, she, we, um, I. I, you, she? Now get out of my sight! Get out! And where do you think you're coming from? Don't question me as if I'm a child. I beg your pardon? Excuse me. Huh. The whole world has gone mad! So how dare you talk to me in that manner? Princess! Princess! You see what I mean? No, you see what I mean? All my children have gone crazy! I see. When you say, what are we going to do now? My princess, go back to the man you love and be with him. Who are you? My name is Beauty, and I'm your brother's friend. I see. Princess, you know, I know you. And that's why I'm trying to give you this friendly advice. Just forget about everything. Forget about everyone. Go and be with the man you love. Just like that. You love him, don't you? I do. If I were you, I would be working towards getting pregnant for him. And when you do that, you see all this, all this madness? One thing I don't understand is why you are not picking my calls. You left the house? Does that mean you've left my life? No. You've broken up with me? No, Obim, it's not what you think. I needed to... You needed time to be alone. I should go. If that is what you wanted, you could have said it. One more step closer to him, and he is a dead man. Get out of my palace this minute or you die. Make a choice. Your Majesty, you may kill me, but what's the game? I'm a man who is loyal to you. To hell with your loyalty. Now get this your cursed visitor out of my palace, or I will kill him and his blood will be in your hands. Fast! I am losing my patience! I'll call you later. 